All souls in their pure state are qualitatively equal, though their individual spiritual identities are unique. In addition, the pure devotee is always trying to uplift the conditioned souls, and he sees and treats everyone in that spirit. Srila Prabhupada perfectly exhibited this sublime quality and was thus the ideal representative of the mercy incarnation of Lord Krishna named Lord Chaitanya, who desired to flood the entire world with love of Krishna. Srila Prabhupada was constantly immersed in distributing the mercy of Lord Chaitanya to everyone, and he humbly requested his disciples to assist him while Srila Prabhupada was lecturing at 26 Second Avenue, New York City. An old derelict staggered into the storefront, put two rolls of toilet tissue in the bathroom, set some paper towels atop the sink, turned and staggered out. Being equal to everyone, Srila Prabhupada was undisturbed by the man's odd behavior and appreciated the spark of devotion shining through. Just see, said Srila Prabhupada, he is not in order, but he thought that, here is something, let me give some service. Just see how automatically service to Krishna comes. This is natural. Clean. Srila Prabhupada exhibited summit cleanliness, both internally and externally. His heart and mind were constantly submerged in the purifying waters of love of Godhead, and his shining body was always engaged in Lord Krishna's pure devotional service. Srila Prabhupada's cleanliness was so profound and far-reaching that not only was he himself impeccable, but he also purified the lives of thousands of young men and women who had previously possessed no proper concept of spiritual or bodily cleanliness. Peaceful Srila Prabhupada once described the mind of a pure devotee as being very peaceful, like a country pond filled with crystal clear water, beautiful lotus flowers, and swans gliding happily across it. This much-desired state of mind is a natural quality of one who is situated in transcendence at the lotus feet of Lord Krishna, far beyond this temporary material world and senses. Srila Prabhupada was very peaceful due to his own pure Krishna consciousness, shouldering the immense pressure and responsibility of a worldwide spiritual family with its concomitant problems. Srila Prabhupada gracefully meted out love, guidance, and practical instructions with full composure, never once losing touch with his peaceful Lord Krishna. Mild Srila Prabhupada's mild demeanor was another very attractive feature of his divine personality. In this material world, when a person attains a position of high authority, he often becomes influenced by false pride and loses the quality of gentleness in his behavior. Thus he becomes a source of anxiety for his subordinates. Srila Prabhupada, although the world's greatest spiritual authority, never displayed even a drop of false pride and always maintained a mildness around which everyone felt at ease. The beautiful photograph on the cover of this book in which Srila Prabhupada appears as the most humble Vaishnava, or devotee of Krishna, does far more to depict his mild nature than this insignificant writer can hope to express. Poetic Srila Prabhupada was poetic not only in the literary sense, as evidenced by his beautiful poems glorifying his spiritual master and Lord Krishna, but in every aspect of his personality as well. His gesturing, walking, talking, singing, smiling, dancing and worship were all done with a natural poetic grace as befitting a swan-like pure devotee of Lord Krishna. For those sensitive souls who had embarked on a pilgrim's progress in search of ultimate truth and beauty, attaining Srila Prabhupada's sublime association marked their journey's end, and they happily gave up all mundane pursuits to engage in his service. Such was the attractive power of Srila Prabhupada's poetic nature, 
which manifested wonderfully due to his super-excellent level of Krishna consciousness. Sane The living entity in this material world has become mad due to the influence of maya, or illusion. In reality, the living entity is an eternal spirit spark. He sees himself as a material body, forgets his intimate relationship with the Lord, and fails to see how everything around him is emanating from the Absolute Truth. Srila Prabhupada was never under such misconceptions, however, as evidenced by his pure devotional service. Out of natural humility, he never promoted his own elevated status, but once, when pressed by his disciples for information concerning his position, he modestly replied, quote, Never was there a moment when I have not thought of Lord Krishna in this life, end of quote. Srila Prabhupada's unwavering remembrance of Krishna provided the perfectly effulgent example of spiritual sanity, and by faithfully serving his lotus feet, we will soon become free from our material illusion. Without fault. Due to being situated in the internal spiritual energy of Lord Krishna, Srila Prabhupada was without fault, free from the four material defects, namely the tendency to commit mistakes, to be in illusion, to cheat others, and to possess imperfect senses. Because Srila Prabhupada performed his devotional activities in a mood of full surrender to Lord Krishna, he was guided by the personal hand of the Lord and was consequently mistake-free. His freedom from illusion was shown by the fact that through his preaching work, millions of souls were enlightened with spiritual knowledge. By sacrificing his own bodily comforts for the service of mankind, he demonstrated his complete freedom from the tendency to cheat others. And finally, his eyes being smeared with the ointment of love of God, fully spiritual, as were the rest of his senses, which were ever engaged in the transcendental loving service of Lord Sri Krishna. Surrender to Krishna Srila Prabhupada's complete surrender to Lord Krishna was shown by his constant engagement in devotional service with mind, body, and words. Another symptom of a soul fully surrendered to Krishna is absolute detachment from the bodily concept of life. At the advanced age of 70, Despite several heart attacks and many other ordeals, Srila Prabhupada single-handedly did the seed of devotional service to Krishna in the hearts of thousands of fallen souls. He was able to do this because he was completely free from material attachment, owing to his full surrender to Krishna. Eats only as much as required. Although Srila Prabhupada received the most opulent prasadam, delicious vegetarian food offered to Lord Krishna, presented to him in grand amounts by loving disciples, he never indulged in luxury, taking only modest portions of the prasadam and distributing the remainder to the devotees.